Wesley Cantrell was born in the small town of Claremont, Georgia, in 1935. His father worked as a preacher and a school principal, while his mother was a teacher. I saw my father through lots of adversity, and I saw uh, his response to that. He was a kind, uh, loving man. My mother was a very, very strong Christian and uh, very, very ambitious. We moved really very frequently. I had to make new friends, adjust to new places. The first house that we lived in that had any kind of indoor plumbing at all was in, um, uh, was in Ball Ground, Georgia, and there we actually had a bathroom in the house. They actually wired the house after we lived here a couple of years. You can see and that it was really exciting because the men came and they ran surface wires over the ceiling. Up until that time, we had used uh, kerosene lamps. The Cantrell family was constantly enduring financial difficulties. I remember my father has got a raise from $75 a month to $100 a month. It was a meager pay, but you could get by on it. Wesley began to work at an early age to help relieve the family's financial burden. About the seventh grade, I got my first paper route. The weather was cold, the streets weren't paved. There was one paved road through Hiram at that time. It was muddy, cold, messy. I had a complete rain suit, rubber boots, I had everything, but I had money. The thing that I did mostly was work in the broiler industry. We'd have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go catch those chickens, put them in the coops, and then get off and go to school. With the help of a little saved money, his parents, and the Naval Reserve, Wesley was able to attend the Southern Technical Institute, where he studied to become an electronics technician. After graduation, he began looking for a job. And I'd been up to the placement office and I saw um, a letter from a company came, named Lanier and it said they were looking for electronics technicians. So uh, as I was at the bus station, I just happened to look up and across the street uh, was Lanier's headquarters. So I just walked across the street and went in. Wesley was interviewed that same day and hired. I think he's motivated to excellence. I think he's always wanted to give his best. It might be easy to dream the dream. But it might not be quite so easy to do the day-to-day -day work and to make the sacrifices that are necessary to make that dream come true.